There you go. Moo! Hello and welcome from Freylands and Friends. Oh, there. This is it on. I wonder if I had it. This is in honor of the railroad that used to be a big deal here. They built a little mini depot. Looks like somebody must fit in there. <laughs> and the sign here, can't read it, what's up? Anyway. You now approach Wyamore, the gateway to Nebraska, Burlington, Division Point, Wyamore, and Wyamore. There you go. <laughs> And so it's called Burlington Park. It's a really nice place to... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm still on Zoom. It's a really nice place to just... You know, when you're downtown... There's a guy sitting down here on a bench right now. He's just... He's just probably messing with his phone. You know. And stuff. It's a nice little place for kids to... Kind of crawl on stuff or just run around. What you're seeing here... We're on the Blue Springs Bridge. And that used to be a dam and I mean it's a small one but it did it it did back the water up at least to it slowed the water to the north because you're looking south so that a lot of it was I think done for farmers so they have enough water to to irrigate from the river but it I think it was an ice flow took it out or what was it Anyway, it broke down. It's an old, it was an old dam, and they decided not to replace it, which made Kansas farmers happy. <laughs> so, they're getting more of it. But it's, this is the Big Blue River. And if we rafted down this thing, it would probably take what? Depending on the, <laughs> depending on the current, it'd probably take us about maybe 45 minutes to get to where I grew up. So... Okay, onward. Yeah, coming up on a nice little farm here. A farmhouse. Now, and you can see, that those were some nice buildings. Does that mean the farmer's rich? No. <laughs> Back, oh. I don't know, I can't remember if it was in the 70s or... Anyway, the 80s was terrible for farmers. Excuse me. There. <laughs> the 80s was terrible for farmers. Pardon the jiggling. I'm this time it isn't my shaking, it's a rough road. <laughs> but there was a time when they started replacing old houses with new houses. And people are like, yeah, farmers are getting rich. And it's like, no. <laughs> the deal was farmhouses, the old farmhouses were getting very dilapidated. They were getting to the point where maintenance was just too much. Because some of them were like over a hundred years old. It was less expensive and more expedient to build a new home than it was to try and keep repairing and fixing up the old house. So a lot of them had debt to build those houses. But it, they were not rich. <laughs> not by any stretch of the imagination. And I don't know how I'm going to look on this because the sun was right in my face. But that's that's kind of the way it is. So, but you, we do still find some old farmhouses around that are still being... They're either just standing abandoned or some of them are still, still lived in. But... You know, they're probably not quite as old as the ones that were replaced. We're coming up on one right now, so... No, I don't think this one is lived in. This is why they replaced a lot of... Well, there's a truck back there, but they do use this plane, a place. They use the farm, but you can see these are old buildings and stuff. And, but, yeah, I don't believe that house is lived in anymore. I'm on record. Sometimes he's asking that because sometimes I do get I forget that I've got it on standby. So you'll see along dotted along any farm in the Midwest, you're gonna 
or farming area, you're going to find these older bins and barns. You know, some of them they keep working on, and others they have replaced. <laughs> We got a bicycle crossing here? Where are we at? <laughs> oh, this is, okay. They made a biking and hiking trail. I didn't know it came this far. Where the railroad used to go. The, they took out all the railroad, the, you know, the ties and the rails and all that, and they made it into a biking and hiking trail. So I don't know if the, I didn't know it came out this far. So, but that's kind of nice to know. Except I don't bike. We ready. Oh, there's Sight Squarey, but we don't see him very good. He's get, telling me, get ready, so we're going to see some cows or something. Alright. Oh, here we go. Oh, these are across. Thank goodness they went past. Alright. See, this is why I like the Herefords for filming because you can see their little brown reddish bodies <laughs> showing up. The this time of year when it gets muddy and the grass is dying, they kind of tend to trample the gas, gr the grass. They ta tend to trample the grass and it's muddy, so that's when it's harder to see the Angus or the black cows. But there's some there's some white face out there. Yeah, I like the ones looking at us. Those are calves. Those are young ones. <laughs> Moo! Ah. There you go. Ah. Moo! Okay, we'll go before the owner owner comes out with it. No, they don't do that around here. <laughs> They'll come out and wonder what's disturbing his cows. We've got to turn the camera down with the cows. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go, car coming. <laughs> that was fun. Ooh, cold. That was some nice obliging cows. I like that. That was fun. Yeah. <laughs> oh. It's starting to get dusk, which is really a great time for filming. Yeah, you got tired of us going slow. I didn't even make a good move. Not a not a cow sounding move. They just <laughs> they decided they wanted to perform, and I like that. Now we're in Beatrice. We made a circle, or we're on in the process of making a circle. So I'm going to sign off for now, because I was showing you countryside. So I'm going to sign off for now. We'll see you when I get home. Or I'll just say goodnight. Goodnight. Is that a perfect way to end a video of what? A beautiful sunset. I hope everybody enjoyed this little outing. I know I did. 